how did we get here? Why have we not had a permanent solution to a mine that the people in, in this community have opposed for 30 years? As I said, a lot of it is due to the Mining Law of 1872, which was signed into law by President Grant and has remained essentially unchanged even today. It declares the federal public lands of the United States open for exploration and development of mineral resources and the lands containing these minerals available for purchase. Under the Mining Law of 1872, there, no permission is required to enter onto legally open lands. You and I could do it tomorrow. Go find a burrow and off we go. There is no re permission required to begin exploring these lands for minerals or even to move into the uh, full-scale mineral development. The mining law provides no discretion in the federal land managing agencies to say no to mining. It makes mining the highest and best use of the lands. No one thought much about the environment in 1872, so the law includes no environmental controls on mining operations. This isn't to say that federal agencies are without authority to protect the environment, and we'll discuss the applicable laws and regulations that address the impact of mining on natural resources and the environment. The point is that under the mining law itself, the land managing agencies cannot prohibit mining operations even if they do and will produce serious environmental damage. Perhaps the most shocking aspect of the Mining Law of 1872 at this point in time is that it provides no financial return to the United States Treasury. Mining companies owe no rent for the lands that belong to us that they're using, and they pay no royalties to the United States for the minerals that they extract. This is lots of money, folks. In 2002, for example, the Bureau of Land Management estimated $982 million of minerals were taken from the public lands in that one year alone. None of that money compensated the public for those resources. In 1872, virtually all minerals were subject to the Mining Law of 1872, including, uh, well, now it principally applies just to hard rocks, gold, silver, copper, and molybdenum. It also applies to uranium and some specialized sands and gravels, such as those that are used to make stonewashed jeans. But over the years, Congress uh, decided to remove minerals, notably coal and oil and gas, from the ambit of the Mining Law of 1872. And now coal and oil and gas are leased by federal agencies to coal companies and oil and gas companies, and lessees must pay both rental fees and royalties for the privilege of exploiting publicly owned resources. The federal government has the authority to refuse to issue these leases, as well as to impose significantly greater environmental controls on mining and drilling than it can under the Mining Law of 1872. So we really do have a relic and unfortunately applies to minerals that have incredibly high values. 